Hey guys, it's Brad. Today I'm going to be giving my initial impressions on the Croc Lock Collars from Elite FTS. And here's the website. I'll put a link in the description below. I uh, don't have any type of affiliate link. I'm not getting paid for this. This is just if you guys want to head over there uh, and check out these collars. They're $46. If you get up to like $69 in your card, I think you get free shipping. Uh, is the usual for... Um, Elite FTS. And uh, I would like to spotlight that it specifically calls out that these collars are not intended to hold weights on a bar when the bar is turned completely uh, vertical. So the they're not intended to do that, but you're going to see uh, me do that in this little video because I saw Coop from Garage Gym Reviews do that when he was testing a bunch of different collars. So uh, these collars, uh, I ordered them because they are a little different than anything else I've seen on the market. Uh, a lot of the collars follow the same design of hard plastic and then a grippy rubber inside and then some sort of mechanism that you turn or flip that then compresses and grips the bar. Uh, the majority of uh, the bulk of these collars are made of uh, that soft rubber that is for gripping and then the compression mechanism is uh, a nylon a nylon strap that gets fed back through a buckle and then you cinch it down and velcro it on so essentially you could get these as tight as you are strong enough to cinch them down um, and at the same time for quick release you can put them on fairly light so you see the weight didn't move until I turn the bar completely vertical, uh, at which time it starts slipping down. My bars are very well oiled <laughs> also, um, so uh, the the sleeve on my bar is uh, probably a little slipperier, slipperier, more <laughs> slippery than yours. Um, but even taking that into account, uh, this is an this is an old bar. Uh, the sleeve is very smooth, uh, it doesn't have grooves cut in it, and yeah, and even then it was uh, a very slow slide. It's not like the weights slipped right down the sleeve. So if, if, you're on, if you're in a deadlift or an overhead press or, see, still not sliding until even pressure is applied all the way around, and even then relatively slow so if you are overhead pressing bench deadlift squat um, snatch clean and jerk and you know how uh, the bar has a tendency to not be even you know uh, especially if you if you get your squat set up a little off and the bar is kind of tilted or your bench you're weak on one side and it goes up a little slower uh, these collars aren't going to slip uh, unless you are <laughs> I don't know there was a little durability test for you. Like I said, these these are made of a like a soft rubber. They're they're not a hard plastic. Uh, like a lot of the other collars are, um, it seems to be made of the the whole collar seems to be made of that grippy rubber material that are on the inside of those hard plastic collars and aluminum collars that you see. Um, and like I said, a Velcro strap. If the strap wears out, uh, you just unscrew that strap off and you can put another strap on there. Uh, the, the durable soft rubber should never wear out. And like you see when I drop that 45 pound plate on it, it doesn't break. Uh, so after my lockjaw hex collar breaking during deadlifts, I, I was looking for something that was, was gonna be very durable. So now I've swapped out that first bar uh, was uh, just my old cap OB86 PBCK power bar that, I mean, it's held up like a champ. It's probably like one of the cheapest, legitimate, what I would call a, a real power bar uh, with specs and knurling and durability, uh, tensile strength, stuff like that. Uh, it's held up like a champ. I've had that thing for like six years, and it's still going strong. Um, if someone wants to give me a new power bar, <laughs> hey, uh, go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm actually looking for another one. I'll probably try the Rogue Ohio Power Bar. 
uh, because it's 29 millimeter. Anyways, that's that's a different video. But that cap, if you're looking for a, for a, uh, a budget friendly solid bar, that that cap OB86 PBCK, uh, pretty good bar. I think you can get them now for like 180 bucks, something like that. Probably wait till they go on sale. Anyways, this is my Olympic bar for my Olympic lifts. It's the right next gen bearing bar and this uh see it's it's still not i haven't turned it you know 45 stood it straight up and it takes a second to get going so the right next gen bearing bar has uh you know that thing they do on sleeves now where there are these like grooves cut into it um or machined into it to make the weights not slip as easily and you saw there the uh, on this bar uh, the collar actually slid down slower as well. I have that Texas deadlift bar back there over in the corner. Uh, we'll try that tomorrow on deadlift day and see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, have you guys tried these? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, keep training, and I'll see you in the next video.